Hey, buddy, thanks for answering my call here quick. Um, I know you gave me some homework, but I just wanted to show you quickly what I found as I started taking this apart. Missing a spring. That's the issue, Dave. Yeah. Could you bring okay. it close so that I can see uh, what kind of springs you got on there? Okay, yeah, they're just little springs like that, yes. Yeah, it's just like a chainsaw clutch. Okay, and so I'm checking this out here. I'm still, they're still working, right? So it's kind of hard to see, but yeah, they're not the, frozen. No, and it's not excessively dirty either. What's that? Your clutch is not excessively dirty, like I see on some concrete saws. Okay. But that, that is that's a good sign. Though. That is definitely the problem. Uh, okay. Usually, what I recommend to people when they replace the springs is to do all three at once. Okay, sounds good. Uh, but if you're not keeping the saw, if you're going to sell it, then you know you can just get one. But usually, like if okay. it was, if it was in my shop, I would replace all three uh, because okay. usually they're getting old, and the other ones might break as well. Well, now I know what the problem is. That's great. Hey Dave, welcome back. Just got your message. I read that you've got some good news for me finally. I do have some good news. Um, I went to the uh, local Husqvarna dealer this morning and I picked up three new uh, clutch springs for the clutch here on my big uh, ugh, big boy cutoff saw. So um, I think I've got it fixed here. I've, I've got it to the point where it will like light spinning. So. Awesome. So just for everybody watching who hasn't seen the previous video um, is Dave's saw was running, but it would not idle uh, without the blade spinning. So his blade was always spinning even when it was idling. So this is what Dave has fixed. Uh, keep going, Dave. And um, the other thing I noticed too is that previously it was, it was really hard to start. Um, and in my head now I realize it was hard to start because the engine, instead of idling up on its own, was yep. still trying to drive the blade as it spun. So it's starting way easier, way faster now. And um, yeah, do you want to see it? Sure, yeah, give it a start. Uh, do the stone test like you did in the previous video as well. Honey boy, here I go. Fire it up here, hopefully it starts. It's cold here, right? So we'll see. All right, Dave, we just saw you starting it up, doing the rock test, and that's good. Just like we kind of thought it was yesterday, right. or we did the video before. Um, good diagnosis. Good job, Dave. Okay, Dave, thanks again. Thanks again for uh, doing a good job. Um, make sure you don't call me every single day here, Dave. Give me, a, <laughs> give me a little break. I'll give you the rest of the day off. How about that? All right, I appreciate that. Awesome. All right, everybody watching, make sure you're subscribed to our channels. Uh, the links are under the video and have a great day. Take care, Donnie. Thanks.